Hello students, we are going to continue the lesson by doing partial variation. If I should have x is partly a constant and partly varies and partly varies as the cube root of y. Now, if I'm being asked to write this in variation form, so this becomes x is equal to, so x is partly a constant, so k1 plus and partly varies as the cube root of y so k2 and then i have my cube root of y now what happens here is i'm going to be given values of x and y twice so they'll tell me when x is this y is this and when x is this y is this so i just insert them solve them simultaneously get the values of k1 and k2 when i get the values of k1 and k2 it will tell me the relationship between x and y and i can find x when y has been given and then y when x has been given if i only have the values of what k1 and k2 now another example is p varies or p is partly a constant and partly varies as the square and partly varies inversely, and partly varies inversely as the square, as the square of Q. So if we have this example two, we are saying P is partly a constant. So P is equal to K1. So the constant is always there, the K1 and the K2. So P is partly a constant and partly varies. So and then we bring our addition sign partly varies inversely so we have k2 inversely as the square of q so we have over q raised to the power 2 so because it is inversely that's why i have divided by what q raised to the power of 2 so we have p is partly a constant and partly varies inversely as the square of what q so these are the Various types of examples you can get under partial variation. Now let's solve a question.